Hi guys, this is my Epip Remnum um, Enjoy uh, Ohm. Epip Remnum is also very much more commonly known as a Pothos. And this is the Enjoy variety. I've been having issues with this particular plant ever since I've gotten her. If you haven't seen the unboxing for this plant, I will link it down. I will link it above as well as below. I hope you enjoy the rest of my vlog. You can hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're, in, you're, in, um, you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. All, um, all my social media accounts including what I'm using for this particular plant in regards to soil, fertilizer, supplements will be in the description section as well. So this particular plant is a very thirsty plant. She does sit directly um, at an east-facing window. And these brown spots is because she was having problems with pests. And she dries out very, very quickly. Much quickly. So I do water her every one to two days because um, I try to water her less than that. And her soil is just thoroughly dry like even the bottom is like sand so she's a very thirsty plant a very light loving plant and because she does sit close to the window you can see that there's a lot more white on the leaves than the one right here and that is uh, light usually encourages more of the variegation or non-green parts of the leaves because they can have that due to a ton of light that they can um, actually acquire. So she does not get any supplemental plant light for now or hasn't since I've had her. Again, all of these dark spots are completely ugly, but it's because I've been having issues with her since I got her, like just, <sighs> just horrible problems. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. I probably should just cut it all up and try to propagate and start from there so that the leaves are more beautiful. I don't know yet. I just, you know, I'm just trying to get her to be happy for now. And, in, you know, um, and hopefully she acclimates beautifully because if a plant hasn't acclimated yet, I feel like it really is too painful for them to cut them up and try to propagate them while they're still acclimating. That's just me, though. So that's why I haven't really trimmed her yet, but I do plan to do that and hopefully then I can actually do a video on like how I'm clipping and propagating them and any kind of progress. So anyway, this is it. Um, again, I water her every two to three days. The third day was supposed to be tomorrow, but she was so dry. I watered her right before I vlogged. Um, the soil is just an all purpose soil. I will link that down below. The fertilizer and supplements that I do use are down in the description section, so do check that out. If you can't find them, just let me know. I do not add an extra humidifier, and I don't believe any any Epip Remnum or Prothos really does need extra humidifier. I do not miss this plant. When I was misting her, it was due to pest. Um, that's why she has like dark spots on there. Um, I just got really desperate, so. Um, no extra humidifier, I don't mist or spritz her, and I water when she gets dry, which is very, very quickly. Um, I'm very, very shocked, and also kind of not shocked. I'm shocked in regards to that because she's a, a tiny plant, and when I first got her, it really took like sometimes even 10 days for her to dry out. Yes, she did not come in, she did not come in really, you know, beautiful as or beautiful as advertised when I got her. Um, if you guys have any uh, questions, any anything you want to share, how you care for your pothos and joy, let me know down in the description, I mean in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. If you want to just talk about this particular plant, let me know in the comment section again, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!